This is an instructional video for replacing the lens holder on a Zeiss Visual Field. Okay, here's what comes in the package. You got the lens holder, a color coordinated new connector, two Allen wrenches, and some zip ties. So you'll take the larger Allen wrench. I usually use a flashlight. Look in here. They're captured screws. So you just need to go about a quarter turn and the screws will not fall out. They are captured. So then you pull from the bottom. Sometimes you need to full force and then you pick it up from the top. It's hanging on two holders there. Then you're gonna pull it out and there's two, one on each side connector or captures for the ribbon cable. You push them out and that comes loose. Then you've got the green ground cable. You and that, that just slips right off. Slips, yeah, it's just a little bit back there. So, place it on the table here. The main thing, do not loosen these screws ever or it will be out of calibration. So now you're gonna take the small Allen wrench and you're gonna loosen the two screws that are holding on your broken lens holder. You need to save those. I already took one out, put those right there. Now the easiest thing to do is you just cut this right there. And then some may not have wires. Wires, if they don't have wires, you could just cut the wires off of ours. Now you're gonna come over here. It's gonna be on the top piece. It's an orange, purple, black wire. And you're gonna pull it all the way out. Oops. And then you're gonna unplug it right here. It comes all the way out. Just remember where it was all plugged, where it was all connected. Pull it out. Now you're gonna take the new one, take all three wires, and you're gonna feed them through the hole. And you might have to use an Allen wrench or something to push them down so you get them out. You have two. Make sure you get all three. Do not loosen those. You pull that all the way through, all three wires. You're gonna have the type on the back side. Now you take the small Allen wrench and the screw, and ours are slotted, so they'll work with the black, the white, or the gray. They all have different angles. So you're gonna put it in there. Just, it's self-centering. And just tighten up till it's snug. Do not over tighten. Do not over tighten. And then you'll do the other side. Now you'll take these wires and you're gonna take the color coordinated and you'll slide them in on that side. You're gonna put black in the Show middle. The little tab. There's a little tiny tab in there, a capture that holds it in position. So you wanna have that going up, Down. up, so it catches in that hole. Okay. So you put the black and the black, which is in the middle. There you go. Then you're gonna take the red, either red, it doesn't really matter to either side. 
make sure you have it so the catcher catches in there. So the tab, make sure the tab is up. Yeah, the little tiny tab will fit into that little square there. Make sure they're all in and then pull on them. Make, oh, that one was loose. And if you have trouble, you could probably push it in there. Perfect. Okay, now you're gonna take this. You can use the zip ties that were there and you just zip tie it in place where all the other ones were. I cut the excess off. I use a wire cutter because it's easier. And then you're just going to take this and plug it right back where you unplug the other one. Which is right there. And you have replaced it. Now, to put it back on, hold it with one hand. You're going to take the ground wire and you're going to put it right on the small spade that's in here. Make sure you don't hold it too far away. Now you're going to plug this ribbon cable back in this part and when you push it the captures will automatically tighten. Now you're going to hang this on these two hangers. Make sure it's centered side to side. And then there's three places it will catch. It catches right here, right here, and sometimes on this board down here. So, or this corner right here. And pull it up, and you just kind of finagle it in. If it's not all the way in, sometimes you just have to kind of hit it. Also, sometimes this corner. Yep, and you can hit it side to side. It's, it's not that delicate. Then you take your large Allen screw, Allen wrench. If you can see, it's lined up right here. And you do your quarter turns. And you push in. Push in and tighten it up. And there it is.